What's your guys' Windows update locks users out of computer? Windows 11, a July 2024 security update, KB5040442, is causing new issues. Now, a lot of people have complained about installing this update and having problems, while some people who have successfully installed this update are now asked to enter the BitLocker recovery key after they reboot their system. And this is a major problem for a lot of people that have BitLocker already uh, enabled on their system, according to Microsoft. This BitLocker bug is affecting multiple uh, different versions and editions of Windows 11 and Windows 10 and server. So bear that in mind if you're using a different version of Windows and you do have BitLocker enabled, you will see this bug after this update. So this is the actual update here, which is a mandatory update by Microsoft and you can't opt out, you have to update to it. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of people that will have BitLocker enabled and they don't even understand what BitLocker is. And it is uh, BitLocker's there to safeguard your data. It does encrypt the drive, which is really risky for a lot of people if they forget their key. Now, one of the biggest problems with BitLocker is the recovery process. If you completely forget what BitLocker is and is enabled on your system, you can run into a lot of problems. And it's generally people that don't understand what BitLocker is or how it works and how you can uh, recover your data once it's been encrypted. Most people, all they care about is protecting their data and encrypting their data because they've read somewhere online that it's a good way of stopping people gaining access to your data but of course if something goes wrong recovering your data can also be a complete nightmare now bitlocker is an encryption that, that requires you to enter the recovery key to proceed so microsoft automatically saves your key to your microsoft account before activating the protection on your pc now microsoft have made a post on their known issues and you can see here july 2024 devices might boot into bitlocker recovery with the July 2024 security update. After installing the July 2024 Windows security update released on July 9th, 2024, the KB5040442, you might see the BitLocker recovery screen upon booting your device. So this screen is not commonly appeared after a Windows update. You're more likely to face this issue if you have device encryption. And this option is enabled in your settings under privacy and security, device encryption. Resulting from this issue, you might be prompted to enter your recovery key from your Microsoft account to unlock your drive. So there is a workaround which they talk about, and we'll go through that in this video just to help people that might not understand what BitLocker is. And they may have enabled it by mistake and attached it to their account, but they just don't know how to recover. So I'll quickly show you that process so you can uh, do this workaround and basically if you want to turn BitLocker off after the fact you can do so it's affected on these platforms right here which is what Microsoft have listed and you can see it's Windows Server 2022, 2019, 2016, 2012 and it goes right away back to 2008 uh, server editions and then you've got all your Windows 11 editions uh, listed there and even Windows 10 as well has been affected by this issue so what can you do? BitLocker key is quite straightforward as long as you have access to your Microsoft account and two-step authentication. You need to log into your Microsoft account and once you've logged into your Microsoft account, you'll be able to go down to where it says devices. Click on the devices, which is your computer, and you should see your computer name there, which you've given your computer, and then click on view details. Once you click on the view details right underneath your View devices this will give you the information about that computer it will also give you the information about the account uh, for the manage uh, recovery keys so you can click on this and it will look something like this what you'll see on the screen right here from here it will give you the information underneath which is the name the operating system the version the build and the serial number and then you can click on the bit where it says Manage Recovery Keys, which is under the BitLocker Data Protection part. Underneath that, you'll see the Selecting the Recovery Key. So on the computer that has the BitLocker Recovery screen, there will be your Recovery ID number right there. And it's the first block of letters and numbers that you need to take note of because you're going to use that to cross-reference with 
the keys that are stored on your account. If you have multiple computers, they're all going to have their own different keys. If we go back here to your Microsoft account, you will see the first block of ID keys there. And it, this will be your recovery key right then next to it in the black there that has been blocked out. That will be the key that you need to use. And uh, you can use that to then recover your system and be able to gain access. And then you can turn BitLocker off afterwards if you want to. It will need to decrypt the whole drive. But once that's off, uh, you should be good to go and you don't need to worry about BitLocker. Or you can just leave BitLocker enabled, but that's how you can recover from that situation right there. Now, like I said before, BitLocker is great when it works, but it can be a big headache uh, for people that need to get into their system and recover their data if you completely forgot your key. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. If you have this issue and you don't know how to get out of it, this basically should help you gain access to your PC. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.